Hey everyone, Ryan here, Evan Art Productions, and welcome to my house. Hey everyone, Ryan here, Evan Art Productions, and welcome to my house tour. What is the, are you like zooming out? Yeah. Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome to my house tour. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for, and of course, I am very excited to share. Um, you know, obviously in previous years, it was room tours at my parents' house. Yeah, like that one, except you come and see a shelf. Um, so, I'm a, this time it's a house tour. Which like I'm incredibly grateful for like all like this is all from YouTube so um, just very excited to do this and uh, thank you guys for watching throughout the years but let's get started with the living room and that was the living room <laughs> yeah right here I got my IKEA shoe rack we've got a bunch of shoes on there and then the first Lego set in the house is the Titanic which I left outside of the case because I just think it looks magnificent here definitely a good centerpiece to have nothing there's literally nothing else on this wall you're supposed to follow me up. Oh, okay, you do it again. <laughs> Why are there fruity pebbles? I don't, you- Why are there fruity pebbles on my couch? Oh, please eat it. I have couches and um, a carpet. I have a TV and a TV stand. Well, you're gonna wanna get this. It's the, my Thrawn collection. This is the Thrawn. Is this gonna be like any good of video? <laughs> like actually? The Thrawn collection here, we've got the Lego Thrawn, the Thrawn bust, the Thrawn that Michael gave me from the theme park. We've got the Thrawn Black series, the Thrawn little toy that uh, Ed sent me. And then we've got some books that I've never read, but like it makes me look kind of smart if I put some books out in the living room, you know what it is. Um, and then over here we got the space shuttle on a little coffee table. And then I have a baseball bat to handle any potential intruders. Hey, what are you doing in here? Possibly the best thing in the living room. And by possibly, I mean it is the best thing in the living room. I have my UCS ATAT -AT down here just standing on the floor. It's literally like the Lego product shots where they show these houses where people have nothing in them and then they just have a UCS set. I've become that. I think I've seen some people get like a little dog bowl for their walker, so I might do that in the future. Now, let's move into the kitchen. I don't use this a lot. We've got seats. We've got counter space. I have a working faucet. I mean, I've got all the creature comforts you could want. A microwave, a uh, frozen pizza oven. It's very odd that they branded it like that, but that's how they did it. Um, we've got the pasta cooker, which I don't, like, I only need one of these like circle things. So again, it's kind of weird that they gave me so many. This is what people want to see on a Lego channel. The, we're, we're breezing through it. A fridge. Do I need to show all this? I don't know. Okay, let's just go to the bathroom. Wait, no. Yeah, that's what you need. <laughs> There's a bathroom here, oh my god! It's my Harry Potter bathroom, um, because it looks like where Harry Potter lived, under the stairs. See? So if we look up here, I've got tons of Lego sets that are basically investments, things I plan on selling in the future because I was able to get them basically dirt cheap. On the shelf in the middle here, we have way more sealed Lego sets, some Mandalorian Starfighters, some Tiger Interceptor Fang Fighters, lots of File First Battle Packs, AATs, and of course, you know, as you would, your Halloween decorations. And then on the next upper shelf thing, it's more miscellaneous stuff. Um, just random sealed set, random knickknacks from baseball, I guess, and a bunch of like built sets that are just in bins right now that I don't really have a particular use for. And then on the final shelf up top, I've got what looks like a bunch of sealed Imperial light cruisers, as well as a Lord of the Rings set. Looks like a small box Freco speeder and some other things up there. So just a bunch more Lego and miscellaneous toy things that I probably don't actually need. Over here, I've got my lovely scooter collection so that I can go get my mail with ease. And then these four boxes here are more Lego investments. Can you believe it? I've got four UCS Republic gunships and a straw wrapper. <laughs> so over here, we've got stuff that I've been bringing in from my storage unit that you might've seen in my room tour from a year or two ago. Um, down here, I've got a couple of the Death Stars, one of each of the Playscale ones. And then on here, we've got many Sith Trooper battle packs, file first battle packs. Um, they had a really good sale on the fighter tanks over Black Friday weekend from Target, so I bought a bunch of those. Uh, we got some miscellaneous holiday Lego items, a bunch of the Winter Village sets, and then it's, it's mostly miscellaneous stuff as you can see as we pan through all of this. There's a lot of random things in here from video projects that I've either started or wanted to start or little sub collections that I have. Of course, with the small boxes, like I mentioned with the Brico speeder, so that's kind of cool, but just kind of random stuff. Um, and then finally, we have this pile back here, which has a bunch of Yavin 4 sets. Those ones I wanted to make a combination video of, so maybe that'll come soon. And uh, looks like we got a Coruscant Guard gunship. 
I think in this brown box down here is my complete set of Pirates of the Caribbean sealed sets. So there's a lot of those in there. And uh, yeah, another small box, what do you know? Anyway, that's the garage. Let's go upstairs. As far as the viewers are concerned, this is the first time we're going up the stairs to do this bit. Ooh, what a nice phone. I thought I cleaned up. There's a pile of crap here. And is this a letter from today's sponsor or Whatnot? Whatnot is an amazing live auction app where you can buy or sell just about anything. I usually use it to buy and sell Lego Star Wars sets and minifigures. My most recent buy was this. This snow trooper. I wish it was a cooler most recent buy, but I wasn't gonna lie about it. As for these sets and minifigs and the ones you'll see in the other room, I'm gonna be selling them all at auction starting at $1 each. Plus I'll be giving away a UCS Venator on that very live stream on Saturday, December 30th at 3 p.m. Eastern. If you sign up now with the link in the description below, you'll also get $15 off your first purchase of $15 or more. Man, I wish I could have my first purchase again. Yeah, me too. Link below guys, make sure you're there. Literally giving away a UCS Venator plus having my great end of year sale with just the miscellaneous knickknacks or sets and figures that I found while cleaning up for this very tour. All right, I think we're gonna quickly check out this guest bathroom really quick. I um, I don't have a lot of guests, so for this room tour, I literally just, I, it's only because of the room tour, I swear. Right here, I've kind of got a storage closet. It's got miscellaneous items. I've got some lightsaber pens, which you can find on mnrshop.com. I also have lots of empty boxes at the top. We have lots of Lego instructions on the side, and then we have miscellaneous like camera equipment items, some paper and different, Just it's just stuff that I needed a storage closet for, okay? Don't ask too many questions. Yeah, so in here, this is kind of my display workroom. Um, a lot of my reviews that you've seen filmed lately on the channel are definitely done in here um, because we have some beautiful shelving thanks to the help of some of my wonderful friends. Um, we'll, we'll start with this. These are Ikea shelves, by the way, so I'll try to link these things down below, but they're Ikea Billy shelves, with the glass doors, and then I have uh, Phillips Hue lights on the inside. They basically drilled a hole through the back and then ran the strip down to the bottom, and it lights up quite beautifully, as you can tell, and you can do it in any color you want, but of course, uh, we're using white here to just kind of match the whole vibe. But we'll start at the top here. We've just got some miscellaneous items, uh, basically a collection of every custom figure that I've done for um, mnrshop.com. Uh, with one custom painted figure that a fan gave me that's amazing. Uh, I don't know what happened. Bob Ross Deadpool's around, but he's not in the case anymore. He got, I had to get bumped. I hate it. Anyway, we got kind of an Imperial shelf, some MIDI scale sets, the ghosts, and then uh, on down with just other random stuff. Up here, I've got a collection of uh, Lego Star Wars like maquette figures, and I think this is a good time to say that like I'm not going to go super in depth on every item that we see in the rooms like this. However, if you see specific items that you want me to make little videos on, I am going to start a YouTube short series called Cool Items in My Lego Collection, so I can cover stuff Very like that. Very creative naming. I mean, I'm trying to appeal to the masses, not to you. Cool items that Sans might like. I don't know, what do you want? I've got my Black Series San Diego Comic Con Thrawn, and then down here, Sans is sweating. We got the New York Yoda uh, that a fan sold me. It's one of three ever made. It's a fake. It's not a fake. I replaced it. We've got I two, swapped it out a year ago. Two YouTube play buttons back to back. Uh, thank you guys so much. That's MNR Productions, this channel, and MNR Vlogs, my blog channel. Um, we got 2007 Star Wars Celebration exclusive and then tons of other sets. Um, again, all of this is also weather stripped. I didn't mention that. Um, it's all weather stripped so that no dust can get in. All of these are supposed to like stay pristine for as long as possible. It's just kind of how my collecting has changed. Um, up here we've got an empty Cloud City box, got the Rogue Shadow sealed, uh, got the drip. And then as we move on down, just more, more sets, just clean sets, you know. Down here, I've got the Avengers Tower. I just have a couple more pieces of content I really want to make on that, but haven't gotten around to it. And I've got a couple boxes of sets that I'm also working on a comparison video for. Uh, as we look in here, this closet, again, is something I'd love to go in depth on, but just, it's so much for a video like this. And I want to cover as much as I can for a house tour. But this is another like kind of storage closet with tons of Lego sets. I do have a little bit of a system in here where there's a bunch of brown boxes and you'll see some of them are numbered. So this one, for example, is box three. And on my phone, on my notes app, I have what each box is. And then I have listed the set numbers that are within that box and most of them are sealed. So if I ever need something, I'll at least have an idea of where it is after I pull all the stuff that's still on top of it out. So that's kind of nice. Um, there's also some crazy sealed sets in here like the Republic Dropship with ATOT. 
the uh, Finch Jello uh, Bomber, and there's Final First Battle Pack cases, because I had to have that for the collection. There's there's tons of stuff in here, so definitely comment below if you want to see anything specific from there on a YouTube short, because I definitely uh, want to get into some of that content. Some of my clip cool rare boxes are up here. Uh, just a lot to go through specifically, but definitely something... Um, I'll, I'll try to cover on the channel. So this here is a six foot Trinity workbench. Uh, got like the wood top, very nice metal legs, very high quality. This was very heavy and hard to get up here. Um, but I have like four or five of the four foot uh, versions of this, but I needed a bigger version for this setup. And so this is what I ended up getting. We have the Shure microphone M7 or something. This was recommended for me to get. So this is what I've been using for videos. I've got the Elgato uh, mic arm that I use to, you know, just hold it out and make it look nice. Um, and then we've got the, the tripod. This room was very echoey when I first got in here. There's lots of padding. There's going to be more behind us when we show that in a minute, but uh, I got a, I got a good bit of uh, foam padding on there. And then over here, I really highly regret not finishing this display up in time for the house tour, but at least like the shelves are up in the corner and it looks nice. But the lights are not plugged in here. The lights are in, they're just not plugged in because I couldn't find an extension cord long enough to make it work right now. Um, but you can see kind of the idea here. We have the one side with some sets. This will eventually be a built Grievous in here. We had to bring back the never stop sign. I love that. I think that's just good motivation um, to, to have within my space. You also got Wait, one of those smiling. hang in there kitty posters. What kitty poster? Just hang in there. Hey, just hang up. We got some of the more unique items in my Lego collection here, like the clone building event. I've got 11 of, I believe we, we found 14 minifigure poly bags that exist for Lego Star Wars. So I know I'm missing a Chrome Stormtrooper, Blue Milk Luke, and the Finn poly bag. I actually have two of those. I just don't have the Chrome Stormtrooper and then I need more of these uh, cases from like Michaels or wherever they came from. So pretty happy with those. Um, down there, shout out Panacy. We got a little Panacy gift. That was cool. Um, and then we got tons of uh, other Lego rare items in here. And again, this is the type of content I would love to put on YouTube shorts and make videos about. So if you see anything specific, let me know. I already did one on this very first Lego set ever, but yeah, this is, I'm very proud of this shelf and it's something I want to keep working on, especially once I get the lights lit up. Um, Cause I think it's really cool to have a shelf. It's just some of the rarest of the rare Lego Star Wars items that exist period, but also in my uh, collection. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And then this, I need a case for. This one is just bubble wrapped because it needs a case. So yeah. Anyway, down here, we've got some sets from Republic Bricks that I've been working on videos for. We've got the Lego Black Panther that Zabby sent me. And then I've got miscellaneous like Lego sets that are, you know, waiting to have shelf space uh, to be put up. I've got my minifigure collection of who knows how many of how many Lego Star Wars minifigs that exist. The but... person that gets the closest number guess wins a Free. They win the whole bin. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is my collection of figures and like these are all from the sets. And so this will eventually be complete. I've also got the three older Republic gunships here in very, very good condition, just waiting again uh, for shelf space. So all of that is stored up nicely. Who's um, Xbox is, the Xbox is that? That's, that's Xbox that I bought to uh, to compare to the Mega Constructs you, you bought a, Xbox. a real Xbox to compare to the... Yeah, literally. Here, we'll do it right now. This Thank is not the video. Get him to do a review. Nope. Ah, oh, look at that. Side by side. Worst to first? Worst to first? Uh, first. This one's nicer looking. You have one of them backwards. Over here we've got some sealed sets. We obviously saw the Grievous behind us. But we've got the Republic Gunship, the Dark Maul, and the Obi-Wan Starfighter. Just so that I have every prequel UCS set. I'm going to do a video soon with every prequel UCS set. So I've been getting all of that together. Anyway, we also have this uh, battle pack that I got early. Depends on when you watch this, maybe not early anymore, but got it from uh, Bantha Toys on Instagram, so shout out to them. But yeah, also, kind of like the worst thing about how I do my job, my SD cards are not organized. They just get thrown wherever, so they're there. And then I have some uh, Walmart knockoff Lego here in different little, little bins. This one says, thank you for supporting my small business. That's lovely, so yeah. Drop shippers are people too. They are, they are. So the eventual goal with this room is for it to be a guest bedroom, but right now it's kind of my mnrshop.com bedroom room. Um, so as soon as Orlando Brickco is open, I'm gonna have office space there and this will be a guest bedroom and I'll bring a lot of stuff that's here there, but this stuff is staying. This is kind of display stuff. Um, you can see a lot of my brick heads are on display, just more random sets that I wanted to display, dust free obviously. Right here we've got the double Harry Potter shelf followed by like Moss Eisley Cantina and more cool Lego Star Wars sets. Up here we've got the, some of the Indiana Jones collection. Um, and then over here on this little fold out table, cause I literally ran out of space. I have the UCS Venator hidden. Is this an original, uh, ask him this an is, R 
table from the garage? This is not. This is oh. a newer table that I bought. I've got all of the empty boxes of the summer 2023 sets that I intended to do a wave review on that I haven't done yet. It's been like four months. Uh, we have this that I use to take product shots on mnrshop.com whenever we do products, which is rare. Mm, but that's ritzy. It was not. It that's, was that's shockingly new. expensive. I could not believe how much this cost, but how, I needed one. How much was it? 150 maybe. For plastic? Dude. <laughs> you see her? <laughs> Over here, we kind of have our shipping center for mnrshop.com and whatnot sales. Um, and so assistant to the regional manager is just whoever's sitting here. And then we have the, the shipping computer that just handles everything. We got plenty of tape, lots of blasters, and our Rolo printer. Over here, we've got an empty box that I didn't really know where to put, so I hid it there. And then we've got some more stock for the website there. You get the idea, I think. Just no, so I, do, I don't think, actually. I think you, you should you show get. all of them. Okay, yeah, I got you. There's a few more boxes. Oh, over here I've got more shipping material, of course. This is the pile of stuff that we showed earlier that I'll also be selling and whatnot on my end of year sale. Over here I've got the prototype build of Yavin 4. I've got Rivendell, which I haven't reviewed yet. It's been like eight months, maybe. Also for sale. It's also been generous. Um, yeah, just shipping materials and stuff. Moving over here, we got the Star Destroyer with uh, just storage area. This is gonna be really nice in the guest bedroom once oh, it's actually a guest bedroom. there he is. Oh yeah, it's uh, D Deadpool Duck right here. And my buddy Bricklove gifted me this when I got 500K subs. It's an MNR Darth Vader, it's really sick. So love that stuff, thank you guys. So in here is the stock room for MNRshop.com and whatnot stuff, just tons of stuff. We got Hot seller, 212 helmets. You imagine it, I got it in here, unless I don't. Lots of minifigure foil packs. 12th Troopers, Final First Troopers. Uh, you got some of the vending machines. Just all sorts of, of stuff in the stock room. Um, lots of sealed sets around on the top shelving in this particular room. And then some back stock of like MR shop figures from, from years past. Some poly bags, poly bags poly bags and then down here i've got like figures for uh whatnot live streams in the future so that's just stuff that's like extra from previous streams or stuff that i haven't yet run anywhere so anyway follow me this is where i do my laundry this is my fan that purifies my air yeah this is my mirror that's so i can look at you in the mirror Woo! this is my bed Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. I was not ready to do that. This is where I took the picture with the Venator UCS set. Did you just stick your tongue out? <laughs> this is the closet. You got the socks. Hold on, hold on. You got the pants. You got the- Don't show my underwear. You got the Lego uh, Donovan Mitchell shoes. That's why I showed them off, just because they're Lego ones. Um, and that's it. Up here, I've got SpongeBob Kyrie shoes, Patriot shoes. Um, the Lego box, some Lego boxes that shouldn't be in here, but I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. And then kind of actually cool in here, the 2003 Cloud City set is in a bin in here. And there's just a ton more sets that are uh, stored dust list for now to be um, used in the future. We got the Venator from 2009, we got Cad Bane's uh, Starship, <laughs> we got the Y-Wing UCS set from 2004, uh, Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. And then if we look up here, uh, we have way more sets. Most of them not Star Wars, some Indiana Jones, um, some Harry Potter, looks like some Lego plush figures. Some of the Boba Fett costume is over here. Um, and then if there's a Don't forget the whatnot. From today's sponsor, whatnot. <laughs> wow, you should use the link in the description below to get $15 off your first purchase of $15 or more. Man, I hard? wish I could have my first purchase. From my 2017 room tour, this was my favorite shirt in my 2017 room tour. Insert clip here. What is my favorite shirt now? Oh, I know. Wait. <laughs> There's a light in here. Opulent <laughs> is this is my favorite. This is my favorite shirt now. My jersey, my opulent jersey, from my gaming. The channel is still live. You can find it from my gaming days when I he wanted to be a pro was gamer. Pro. <sighs> now the final and biggest room in this house is one that I was shocked when I like first toured it was even in the house. So let's let's just. Yeah, come on, come on up. Come on. You can't wait to see it. I can't either. I just stepped on a nail. That happens. 
What, what do you mean? I, just, I don't know. I've had it happen before. It just happens. Fix it. Juggernaut fridge, of course. Gotta have it. I don't really keep anything in it anymore. So down below here, I'm working on getting every Revenge of the Sith set sealed in box so that once 2025 rolls around for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, I can make content on all of these sets. Brand new reviews, fresh out of the box. I think it's going to be incredible on the channel. So definitely keep your eye out for that in about a year and a half-ish. But some very, very good content on some very hot sets coming soon, including every 2005 uh, Revenge of the Sith set. Over here, I've got my gaming set up and all I really play is Call of Duty. So I'm not a multi-game gamer or anything. I just play the thing I'm good at. So if you want to see more of this in depth, I do have a gaming setup tour on my MNR Games YouTube channel. But the quick gist of it is PC, double monitor, two mics so that I can have a mic where I talk to my friends, a mic where I talk to the chat and I can mute one or the other if I just need to say something that only one party is supposed to hear. My building off series didn't go well and I was left uh, High and dry with lots of hot. Stocks are down bad. We need to sell. <laughs> anyway, up here we've got some dusty display sets with some Imperial stuff and my custom Death Star that looks amazing. Uh, we have my three Funko Pops. Technically, I think I have a four somewhere, but the three that I display. We've got the very first Black Series, and then we've got the UCS uh, X-Wing from this year. So right here, I've got my Clone Army set up. Um, this is kind of a temporary setup, and this is kind of a flex space to me, so I can build them up here. Maybe not. Uh, do, I can do whatever I want with this space, which is what I like about it. So right now it's a clone army setup. Maybe next week it's a droid army setup. Maybe the week after I'm building a Lego amusement park for another YouTube channel, who's to say. But the point is flex space. Right now it's a clone army space. So we also have a lot of these white drawers here. Um, these store all of my parts for building things that I don't build. We have lots of parts. You know, I don't think I need to show you all of the parts, but there are plenty of parts. So I think you get the gist. Usually though, these tables or uh, bins are stored under the tables so they don't like protrude into the space, which is nice. Over here, this is a problem. This is a problem. It's a lot of, I bought a lot of parts. Like a lot, a lot of parts that I don't use, don't need. It's a problem. Some of it might end up on the year, year end sale. I don't know. We've got the uh, banner here, the one that didn't fall. Our flag still stands. <laughs> So that's there. This room was very echoey, of course, so we had to get more more cushiony panels. Um, we've also got more Clone Army stuff and like dust-free sets in here. I think the UCS Razor Crest is uh, down in that bin, so there's some stuff in there. And the banner that did fall, because this one does have a metal rod in it. The other one does not have a metal rod. I double taped this one, but it didn't work. Um, I I needed it up for my. If you want to see what it looks like up, you have to watch my Clone Army video. But it's a it's an epic banner. As no, you, you show it you in want. its entirety. You what? As you show it in its entirety. Yeah, but then they get to see like how it looked when it was... Uh, now they can't see it completely flat up the against the wall. Yeah. We've also got the UCS Faders TIE Advanced over here. Uh, so that's something I need just like a you know case uh, room for. And then finally, this closet is pretty dope. It's one of my favorite closets in the house. Top three. Right, top three closet. This closet a few months ago, I cleared out because I needed a space to store a bunch of the sealed sets. I'm gonna make content on in the future. Obviously I got all those, you know, Revenge of the Sith sets over there, but there's just other stuff that like, I wanna make videos on in the future. And whether that's this year, next year, five years from now, I wanted to have it all in one spot so I kind of know what I have. And so we've got the Sith Infiltrator from 2007. There's just tons of sets in here. I mean, you can just see as we pan through so many different sealed sets, except for like this top left corner is it sealed, but everything else in here, is like sealed in box, mint, ready to have a fresh review of on the channel. Um, Cause like one of my goals on the channel is to review every Lego Star Wars set ever. So like very, very hyped for that. Um, unfortunately that does include the bad ones. So, you know. Why'd you pick up an example of not a bad one? Twilight is objectively a bad set, okay? I decided it was bad when I was 10 and that's 11. You decided a lot of things at that age and you never stopped. Call of Duty, anyone? Were you allowed to play That was a trauma response. You can't keep blaming your dead grandma for everything. I only blame her for the reason I, it's the reason I play Call of Duty. <laughs> Literally, that's the only thing I blame her for. Then why wasn't she on the jersey? She did buy me this dropship with ATOT, so shout out uh, my grandmother. We have more parts in here, like trees that I've never even taken the tape off of from when they put the tape on at the Lego store, so. I'll take them. That's, you got 20 bucks. I ain't losing to inflation on that. If you sell those parts, you will be. Uh, we also have a ton, this is something, this is another thing that I'll cover on my YouTube short series, but I have uh, more banners, so there's even a Lego Power Miners banner in here. So comment below, I will definitely do the banners as their own YouTube short, but again, I thought it would make a house tour video way too long to show like every little thing, you know? 
My big Rise of Skywalker sign. Yeah. The Walmart lady said yes when I asked for this one. I was real happy. So over here, I have more sealed sets that did not fit in that closet. Obviously a lot of bigger boxes, but all of these are, you know, things you can expect videos of at some point in the next five years. <laughs> I'm being realistic. I mean, it's gonna take me time to get to all of this stuff, um, you know, but there's some really cool sets here that I'm really excited to eventually cover. Like, I'll finally be able to remake this review. So I reviewed this in 2009. So I'm ready to get back into it, you know what I mean? Um, just, it needs a fresh review, a fresh take from me. Anyway, the rest of this display has the Death Star, the UTAT from Republic Bricks, the UCS Imperial Shuttle, and the Snow Speeder, which is kind of precariously close to the edge and could get knocked off. It's probably the most dangerous thing I have in my collection right now, as far as like, if you're walking around this corner too tight, it's going all the way down the stairs. So I do, uh, I do take a little bit of uh, care. Why don't you screw that. it into the wood? Screw it in the wood, good idea. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the house tour here and thank you so much for supporting me over the years to get to this point. I really look forward to using this house to be able to create more great content. And this is not the last space tour you'll see from me. Soon there should be an office space tour from Orlando Brickco. So keep your eyes peeled on that because a lot of things are gonna change on the channel and that happens too, I think. So very excited about that. But anyway, hit that like button if you enjoyed and Siri, play the outro.